Today, we'll be talking about the heart. The heart is this big muscle, which is about the size of your clenched fist. It's located in the middle of your chest, and its job is to pump blood from the systemic circuit through the pulmonary through the pulmonic circuit, which we'll get into in just a second, to oxygenate the blood and then send the blood out into the body to oxygenate the muscles and tissues and organs. So if I was a blood cell, I would come through the superior vena cava or the inferior vena cava. Then I would end up in this hole now I would start gushing out into this. This is called the left atrium, sorry, the right atrium. And then I go through this valve, which is currently closed. This is called the tricuspid valve because it has three flaps. It's on, it's, this is only a 2D drawing, so you can't really see the third valve. And then it fills into the what's called the right ventricle. And so, these muscles that you can see here, these are called papillary muscles. And then these lines that are connecting to the tricuspid valve, and also here, um, they're called coordinate, coordinate tendinae. So, so this is my path, so I would end up in the right ventricle, then I would start going into the, the pulmonic valve, or which is sometimes called the, the left semi, no, the right semilunar valve. So I would go up here and then, and I would go into these, and I would go into the lungs, which I, and I'll do a video on them later. Mm -hmm. So, so my blood gets oxygenated and then it comes back through here. And just a recap, these are called pulmonary arteries. Now you might have heard that that arteries bring bring blood um bring oxygenated blood from the heart. But this is just saying that it brings blood from the heart to the lungs. And then these are called veins because it's getting blood back from the lungs. So, so I will start to end up right here. Now this, you could take a guess, this is called the left atrium. And then as I said, these coordinates are called which I'm coloring in here. Then, when the, ve when the ventricles contract, my blood, or me, if I'm a red blood cell, will go into the aorta and then out to the rest of the body. So this is a path that your blood takes when it's pumped. So, just a quick recap. Um, I first enter from the superior and inferior vena cava into the right atrium. This valve opens so I can go into the, le the right ventricle. Then, what is that valve called? Oh, this valve, um, it's called the tricuspid valve. Mm -hmm. It has three flaps. And so I get pushed into this um, right semilunar valve and then I get pumped out into the lungs. Then I get, and then I get blood through these pulmonary veins into the, into this atrium. This atrium, as we said, is called the left atrium. Then it enters into the left ventricle and then is pumped out into the body through the right, sorry, the left semilunar valve or the aortic valve into the rest of the body. Now, if you take a good listen, long listen to your heart, you might hear these sounds, lub, dub. And the reason why you hear these is because for lub, the tricuspid valve and the mitral valve snap shut. 
and it's a and you could take a guess and it's a really smart guess that the pulmonic valve and the aortic valve just opened and then when you hear dub the aortic and pulmonary valve snap shut and and as the and as the same thing but opposite as love you could also take a guess that the mitral valve and the tricuspid valve just opened. Mm. So I'm gonna go through a quick timeline of um of these heart sounds. So here I have my timeline, and then here's when I hear love, or sometimes abbreviated as S1, and then here I have dub, then love, then dub. Now, this time period between here is systole. This is the filling of the ventricles because, oh no, this is uh, systole is when the ventricles, they, they squeeze blood out into the body. And this is, so this is called systole. And then this time period here is called diastole, when the ventricles are filling, because since the heart isn't pumping blood out, these valves are open, so it allows blood to come in from here into the ventricles. So that, so just a quick recap. If I was a red blood cell, I would come through the superior and inferior vena cava, through into the right atrium, go down into the left ventricle. Right. Which valve? Tell me which valve. Okay, so this is the tricuspid valve. Uh -huh. I would go from the right atrium to the right ventricle via this valve, and then I would get pumped out into the lungs, and then I would come back to the heart, and then get pumped out via the mitral valve into the rest of the body. Wow. So the circuit where it, the blood comes in and then, and, and then it comes in and then goes out to the, to the lungs, this is called the pulmonic, sorry, uh, the pulmonic circuit, which I'll, which I'll just abbreviate as PC, pulmonic circuit. And then, and then the other circuit where it comes in from the, the lungs and it gets pumped out into the rest of the body. This is called the systemic circuit, or I could abbreviate it as SC. So this is the video on on the simple basics of the heart. Thank you.